Evening guys, uh, right I've just got back from the gym, it's day 7, so what I'm going to do every week is, on the end of the week, I'm just going to do like a prep update, just you know, what's happened, if anything, um, things I'm going to change, not change, just anything that's relevant to what I'm doing. Um, I've just done a few videos of what I'm looking like in the gym, and like you'll see, I'm already looking a little bit different than I was from the videos at three days. Um, I'll let you just take a look. Right, it's one week in. So last time I did this was on the third day. So I'm going to show you the difference. Uh, I've already seen some changes this week, quite quite a few actually. I've dropped six and a half pounds this week, which isn't ideal, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to uh, make some changes this week, I'll talk about that later, to stop any further big losses. But I'll show you like the difference now on the start and the third day. So seven days in. Things have just tightened up a little bit. It's just I can feel like there's less things wobbling. I mean, remember the video before? Come here now. It's not as grabbable. It's sticking harder. But less water. Got the exact same amount of fat. I'm not going to lose much fat in four days, but everything feels better. I feel better. Things are coming on quite quick. They're probably the quickest I've ever actually come on, so I'm quite happy, but I am very wary of the weight I've lost this week. There's always going to be a drop, an initial drop. Once you change your diet and go into a calorie deficit, you're always going to lose some water straight away. It's not all fat, hardly any of it's fat, you know. You're generally looking at between one and one and a half pounds of fat a week. Some people can lose more if they have more to lose, but someone like myself, I'm probably going to lose about a pound of actual fat a week. Maybe not even that, but I'm just going to go with it. I'm going to make some changes this week. I'm going to lower my cardio. I'm already eating quite a bit of food anyway, so I'm going to lower my cardio. Uh, and then at the end of the two weeks, I'll make changes then to diet or more cardio. And we'll see how we're getting on. But Yeah, so uh, all in all, a good first week. Uh, I'm happy. Um, I feel good. I'm not knackered. Um, it shouldn't be that way, you know what I mean? If I, if I was feeling exhausted, or even if you were feeling exhausted after one week of dieting, something needs to change. You know, you shouldn't be feeling exhausted. You've gone in too hard. You know, you're either working out too much or you're not eating enough. It shouldn't feel like that after one week. So, um, and like I say, I've had quite a rapid weight loss in the first week. Obviously, that's because of the, the diet change. You know, I'm not, I'm not drinking any alcohol. Um, I'm not eating the carbs I was eating, the sugar I was eating, um, I'm doing cardio, you know, these, these are going to have a big impact on body weight, not fat as such. I, I'll have lost some fat this week, pound, pound and a half, like I say, but the, the more fat you've got, the faster rate you will lose fat, but don't be too concerned about how much weight you're losing a week. You want a steady weight loss every week. The more predictable and controlled it is, the more fat you're going to lose and the better you're going to feel. And that's going to be the, the big factor in everything. You don't want to feel like shit. Um, well, you want to delay it for as long as possible because it's, it's going to come at some point, you know. There's no denying that. Um, like I say, I feel good. Um, the only thing I've noticed this week on the bad side of things is I am struggling to sleep already, you know. I don't think, and I genuinely don't think that's anything to do with the gear because... It's not been a problem before this early, but I think in a way, I think it's because my mind's 
constantly a flurry with like ideas for this, for, you know, for the the vlogs I'm doing. Um, you know, just ideas and constantly brainstorming. I've always got like a pen and paper out. I'm always writing new things down. I'm asking people on Facebook. So I think I've just got a lot of thoughts going through my head at the moment. But I'm not waking up knackered, so I'm not too bothered about it. I'm probably getting about <laughs> in actual sleep about six hours sleep a night. You don't have to get eight hours sleep, you know, you don't have to get your 10 hours, whatever you normally get, you know, your body will tell you eventually when you need more rest, you know, I, I can easily get by on six, seven hours sleep a night and never notice any problems, but sometimes I'd like to get a bit more, I don't like lying in bed and just sort of, you know, thoughts going through my head staring at the ceiling, but that's going to get worse, that always gets worse, gear or no gear, you know, diet related insomnia, I think it's something that everybody will go through at some point. Um, like I said, the changes I'm going to make, normally I make changes on a two weekly basis, but with what I'm doing with this, obviously I'm weighing myself every day as part of one of the uh, things I'm going to do at the end. Um, I wouldn't normally do that. I would weigh myself once or twice a week um, just to assess how things are going. And if you didn't see any changes or things had stalled after two weeks, then you make big changes. Now I'm going to be making changes if I need to every week. The only thing I'm going to change this week, which I wasn't going to, is I'm going to half my cardio. So I'm just going to do 15 minutes. I know it sounds like nothing, but instead of doing four or five 30-minute sessions AM, I'm just going to do four 15-minute sessions and keep my calories the same. If it was later in the diet and I was having this problem like a rapid weight loss, I would up my food instead. I'd keep the cardio as it is and I'd have more food. But... 2,800 calories is getting stretched quite far for me, so I'm not at a point where I go, you know, I could really do with 200 calories more, I really appreciate that. I'm absolutely fine, I'm eating my meals and they're more than enough, you know, I'm, you gauge it on how you feel and that's how I do it, you know. If I wanted more food, I would have more food over doing less cardio. Um, and that's going to be it for this week, you know, that's the next week I'll just keep it exactly the same, I'll have my, my high carb day uh, every fourth day. And then I'll assess, because at the end of the two weeks, I then got six days till I go to Milan. Obviously, I plan to have like a pizza one of the days and a relaxed day while I'm in Milan. So I might have a refeed, depending on how I'm looking and feeling. If I don't feel I need one, I won't. You know, it's I don't really plan refeeds. Refeeds happen when I'm absolutely knackered and I'm training like a bag of shit. Uh, flat as a fart and you know you need to fill out a bit and just feel energized again um i'll go more into that on like a, a cheat meal refeed video and explain what i do and the wacky science behind it it's not wacky it's food uh, and speaking of food um i'm about to do the food video everyone's, everyone's asking uh, like can you do one on nutrition can you do one on food what you eat and it's I'll try and cover as much without boring people, but that's going to be coming up now.